Hey everyone and welcome to another Nielsen Networking video. In this video, I'm going to take us on a trip back in time to 2009, and that is when Windows 7 was released. And the goal of the video is going to be to download and install Windows 7 inside of VirtualBox. And the reason I am personally doing this is because I want to add a Windows 7 machine inside my virtual lab here. So I will then have a Kali Linux box, a Windows 10 box, a Nessus vulnerability scanner, and a Windows 7 box. That way I can perform some uh, vulnerability scanning against all these different um, operating systems to see different results. Uh, we can also see at some point, you know, we can use some of the uh, Kali Linux um, cybersecurity tools against this box and see what we can find out, you know, run some nmap scans, run some brute force, who, who knows what we'll do with it. But the idea is just to get it in our virtual box platform so we can use it for testing. You can do whatever you want with it. Maybe you have some legacy software you need to run inside Windows 7 and you want to do it in virtual box. Either way, you'll get to the same end result, which will be Windows 7 inside a virtual box. That said, let's get to it. All right, first things first, we need to open a web browser and we're going to head over to this website which is how to geek I'm sure you've heard of it and they have an article here on how to download Windows 10 8 1 and 7 and these are just the installers they're not saying they're giving you a free version of Windows that is activated yada 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 they're just telling you how to get the installers so we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna go to this link down here we're going to be using a third-party tool um, that it, it replaces a site that was called digital river that was actually set up by Microsoft uh, but it doesn't work anymore instead they used to store them on TechBench and apparently it's been very hard to find an actual working version on that site so now there's this other site that actually has a media creation tool and you can get that by going to this link right here, which again, I'll post into the description. I just wanted to kind of show you how we get to this site with this media creation so you wouldn't think we're just going to some random site out on the internet. Because you've probably heard of How to Geek, but I doubt you've heard of, I don't even know how you'd say that, HiDoc. Um, so that's my thinking there. So what we're going to want to do when we come here, we're going to want to download the Windows ISO downloader.exe. We're going to get out of the little cheese ball advertisement. And you're going to then, once it's downloaded, we're going to go here and do show in folder. And you're going to double click on it. It doesn't install any software. It's going to bring up a menu to download what we want. And now we want Windows 7. And here we're going to go ahead and pick. I'm going to go ahead and go Pro 64. You could do whatever you wanted. Uh, and then I'm going to do English. It looks like that's the only option. Um, and then I'm going to hit download. And this takes a long time, so I will come back to you when this is done. Okay, the file has finished downloading. So now we are actually good to get into VirtualBox and get the uh, setup started. All right, and for the setup, it's pretty straightforward. We're going to go to VirtualBox. We're going to go to New. We're going to name our virtual machine. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going with that. Here, if you wanted to move your VM to another location other than the default, this is the time to do it. Like, let's say you needed to put it on a secondary drive because your primary drive was full. Now's the time to point it there. You can actually just drop down here and browse to wherever you wanted to go. Um, next, ISO, you're going to want to put this to wherever you downloaded it. I'm assuming in the download folder unless you moved it. And then you're going to want to check skip unintended installation. And we're just going to go ahead and leave the memory at 2 gigs, 1 CPU core. Don't check that box. Hard drive size, we're going to drop this down to 20. We don't need 32 gigs. And we're not going to check anything else. And then here we're going to hit finish. And you are done setting up the Windows 7 uh, virtual machine. So we're going to go ahead and double click it to start it up. And here we go. All right, here's some memories, huh? Okay, so at this first screen, we're just going to go ahead and hit Next. And then you're going to hit Install Now. And you're going to read this thoroughly and then accept the terms. And we need to do a custom. If you do the other option, it's going to assume you already have an existing operating system installed, which we don't. Uh, then go ahead and just allocate all the space to this. Hit Next. And I'll come back when this is done. And it looks 
looks like it's done. It's going to restart now. And here we go. I think it's going to do one more restart if I'm not mistaken. It's been a while <laughs> since 2009. Yep, one more restart. Okay, we are ready for the initial setup. So here, obviously, you would want to put your username. I'm just going to do Windows 7 user. Computer name, we'll just do Windows 7. And then Windows. Okay. Uh, go ahead and type a password. Uh -huh. And here you're going to want to uncheck automatically activate uh, Windows and then just hit skip. And what you're going to want to do for um, protecting your computer, I would just do ask me later. Change the time zone if you need to. Hit next. I would just put this on a home network. We're actually going to need to change the um, virtual network it's on in a second here um, to have it be part of the same network as the rest of our virtual machines. So it looks like it's booting up. And here you go, Windows 7 all over again, huh? First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Machine, I'm going to go to Settings, I'm going to go to Network, I'm going to go to um, NAT Network, and I'm going to leave it on VirtualBox Network. Uh, and if you haven't created a virtual network for you, a VirtualBox Network, you can do that um, pretty quickly by just going to Tools, go to Network, go to NAT network and you would create it in here. I actually have a whole video on it, so I'm not going to go back into details. Uh, you can check it out. It's like a three minute video and it goes into all that. So anyways, but what we wanted to do here was change this to NAT network and VirtualBox network. That way we can see the other devices. Like let's make sure we can ping our Kali Linux and we can. Let's make sure we can ping out to Google. And we can get a name resolution. We're looking pretty great actually here. Um, so I mean, that's kind of the whole, what was the whole goal here to flash back at Windows 7 running inside VirtualBox, mission accomplished. I actually have my uh, Nessa scanner up. So next video we'll do, um, I'll probably run some scans against this device and see what it looks like. <laughs> Uh, getting scanned by a modern day vulnerability scanner on a Windows 7 that you know hasn't been updated and I don't even know what end of life was but it's a while ago so anyway mission accomplished I hope you enjoyed this video if you did you know my typical please you know hit that like button better yet subscribe to future content um, we would appreciate it so you go and have a great rest of your day thank you